but since last Thursday across the state and with a particular focus on those hotspots that are well known to all of you, there have been 93,000 plus tests uh, that have been conducted. 37,000 doors have been knocked on, uh, particularly in those hotspot suburbs. Uh, there have been some 233 new cases of coronavirus since last Thursday, since that testing blitz began. That is an unacceptably high number and one that poses a real threat to all of us. The suburbs with the highest number of new cases are Broadmeadows, Faulkner and Auburn Vale. Uh, and of most concern uh, is the number of community transmission cases in those suburbs and other suburbs uh, proximate to them. But I do feel obliged to inform you that in Broadmeadows and Keeler Downs alone, uh, some 928 people refused to be tested. In the first instance, the Chief Health Officer has advised me to reimpose restrictions in line with Stage 3, so they will be stay-at-home orders except for four reasons to leave your home. Uh, these orders will be effective from 11.59pm tomorrow night and they will run for four weeks until the 29th of July. There will only be four reasons that you are permitted to leave your house and only if you really have to. For work or school, for care or caregiving, for daily exercise, for food and other essentials. They are the acceptable reasons to leave, but only if you need to. 3012, 3021, 3032, 3038, 3042, 3046, 3047, 3055, 3060 and 3064. That means each and every home within those postcodes from 11.59pm tomorrow night will have to stay in their homes uh, except for those four reasons. On enforcement, Victoria Police will be actively, actively enforcing these suburban lockdowns, this stay at home order. Uh, they will be patrolling throughout these communities and if people are out of their home, then they will be politely asked, uh, why are you out of your home? And if you are out of your home for anything other than a permitted reason, then financial penalties apply, on the spot fines apply. People uh, moving in and out of the suburb will be asked to identify themselves, to identify their address and to provide good reason for them being out and about. On the broader issue of businesses that because of this order and these restrictions will need to go back to uh, settings that we became all too familiar with uh, some time ago, uh, cafes, restaurants, hotels being takeaway only, uh, gyms for instance being closed. Uh, we'll get you a full list, I think you may already have that, but people are well acquainted with the nature of those uh, restrictions. They will again have to go to those settings, uh, either takeaway only or close. Is that at least a significant number and potentially more of the outbreaks in the north of the city are uh, attributable via genomic sequencing uh, to staff members in hotel quarantine breaching uh, well known and well understood infection control protocols. That is unacceptable to me. I'm sure that will be unacceptable certainly to all of those who will be impacted by the restrictions that we have had to reimpose announced today coming into force at 11.59pm uh, tomorrow night. As it relates to holidays, we know school holidays are on at the moment. If you are a resident in these postcodes and you are already on holiday, you can complete your holiday. I think it's impractical to be uh, asking people to return home. But if you have not yet, that is between now and midnight tomorrow night, if you are not on holiday, then you will be prevented from going on holiday. That is not one of the four reasons that you are permitted to leave your home for. Now, that will give rise to a number of bookings that will be cancelled uh, and there will be an impost on tourism businesses. The Minister for Tourism and Industry Support will speak to those issues and some support that we will provide to those businesses tomorrow. I oh, know the diversions are only in relation to those who would have gone into hotel quarantine. Essentially, we are saying we won't take any further hotel quarantine uh, um, persons for the period of two weeks uh, and that's a function of both the announcements I've made today following that genomic testing 